Today, I'm going to teach you how to make the Pythagorean spiral. So, for today's lesson, you need some standard construction paper, a pencil, a protractor, and a ruler, and then I also have a piece of lined paper, because we're going to do some calculations along with creating our spiral. First, starting from the top left corner of our construction paper, we need to measure over 15 centimeters. This is our first step in creating a, our center dot in the middle of our construction paper. I then am going to measure 11 and a half centimeters down from the mark at the 15 centimeters. And I'm going to place a dot at that 11 and a half centimeters down, and that's going to be the center dot of my Pythagorean spiral. Before I draw my first line, I'm going to measure 11 and a half centimeters on the right side of my paper, and I'm just going to use this mark as a guiding line for my first actual line. Now, to draw my first line, I'm going to um, put my ruler at the center dot and match it up with the mark I just made on the right of my paper, the right side of my paper, and I'm going to draw a line segment that is two centimeters long, and I'm going to extend it to the right of my center dot. I need to create a right triangle, so I'm going to measure 90 degrees on the right side of this line segment using my protractor. I'm going to match the little corners on my protractor to the edge of my line, and I'm going to put a dot at the 90 degrees. This dot is just going to be a guiding dot. I'm not actually going to connect to this dot. So I'm going to use my ruler, and I'm going to match up my ruler to the edge of my line segment up to that dot. But I'm only going to actually draw two centimeters up because I actually want to erase the dot that I'm using to create the 90 degrees. I can now connect my second line segment back to my original center dot to finish off the triangle, and I can erase the point that I used to guide my 90 degrees. I am now going to take my triangle and I'm going to rotate it. So that last side, the last line segment that I drew, the hypotenuse of my triangle, is now going to be the base of my second triangle. I'm going to move my protractor to the right side of this segment, and I'm going to, once again, measure 90 degrees. I'm going to place a dot at the 90 degrees. And remember, I'm using that dot to guide my next line segment. I don't connect to the dot, but I just extend it up two centimeters. I can then connect back to my center dot to create the hypotenuse of my second triangle, and I can erase that dot that I used as my guiding point for the 90 degrees. Next, I will once again rotate my figure, my drawing, so that now the hypotenuse of my second triangle it will be the base of my third triangle. I'm going to continue repeating the same pattern where I now go to the outside on the right of my figure and I'm going to measure 90 degrees with my protractor. And then I'm going to draw that dot at 90 degrees and use that guiding dot to then measure up a two centimeter long line segment. And after you draw that line segment, you always connect back to your center dot. And after you connect, you keep rotating. So now the hypotenuse of the third triangle is the base of the fourth triangle. Repeat the steps once more. Here I have a visual, just as a reminder, 
If you look on the outside of our spiral, that is where you always create the 90 degree angles and where you always add the 2 centimeter line segments. And then we're always connecting back to that center dot. Our goal is to continue this pattern to create our full spiral. But I want you to take a look at what happens when our spiral starts to overlap our original triangles. Measure up your 90 degrees like always. Create your line segment that's 2 centimeters long. But when you measure your ruler back, you start overlapping lines. Just remember, you always match your ruler up to the original center dot. But when you create your line, you stop when you get to the previous triangles from the first part of the spiral. And you're going to continue this until you have at least 35 triangles and then you get to design it and make your spiral into something fun. And after you have your design, you have to do some simple calculations. I want you to start um, with the original triangle. In your calculations, you will be solving to find the length of the hypotenuse of every one of your triangles. So starting with the first triangle, remember both legs were two centimeters long. So I had to plug two in for A and for B. So we have two squared plus two squared. That equals eight. So 8 equals c squared, and to solve for c, we take the square root of 8. Now to calculate the hypotenuse of the second triangle, remember the base of the second triangle is the hypotenuse of the first triangle. So I'm going to plug in the square root of 8, which I got for the hypotenuse of triangle 1, and I'm going to plug it into the base of triangle 2. And then all of my triangles, the other leg is always 2 centimeters, so I'm always adding 2 squared. So I have 8 plus 4 equals 12, and then C equals the square root of 12. Continue repeating this pattern where the base of your next triangle is always the hypotenuse from the triangle before. And then we are always adding 2 squared. So you're going to continue this pattern for all 35 triangles. You will find the length of the hypotenuse for each triangle, and then I want you to compare your calculation for the largest hypotenuse in your spiral, and then measure your actual hypotenuse on your spiral and see how accurate you were. Enjoy, have fun, and be creative with your spiral.